All right, so I've got a rebuild kit for the GTX clutch linkage. Here's the diagram. The part I have is this Z-bar, and it has a bushing in here. It's worn out. Had a bushing in there. It's gone. This linkage is soft. It, it, it's not, not a solid connection. Some of these washers and stuff are gone. It's got this thing right here. Uh, it's like a keeper pin. So I'm going to take this pin out, pull this out, put these uh, new keepers in there. I think this is part of that too. These, uh, these sorts of things are on the end here. Got a clip. Clip is probably for right here. Have a new spring, new, new bar, a couple other pieces. So I'm going to put all this together and slap it in place. Can't base out. All right, my Z bar is painted. It's lubricated, put some lubrication in it. And now I'm going to reassemble it. Here's the one piece that goes in. You notice the uh, grooves on the end of the plastic. I've, I've uh, put the uh, Teflon on the end there. There's a groove there. When it goes in, in those holes right there, this pin goes through that hole and fits in that groove. And that's what holds the Teflon in place. So I'm going to set the phone down and assemble that now. All right, in my opinion, that went on there pretty easily. You just push this in until, and there's a rubber grommet around the top. The rubber grommet will look like this. And it has a, uh, on it, it says uh, ball side. So this one goes on the uh, transmission. This one, is, there's another one right here. So then this pin is, now I've caught those grooves. So there, have a nice, some nice movement on that. So the next part is the, uh, the other side, which uh, is another set of, uh, and I don't see any way that these are held in other than by the force of the, uh, the ball on the, on the transmission. All right, talk to you later. Now on the other side, this is the uh, push rod for the, for the clutch. Uh, I have these uh, washers. I think you only need one, so this goes on here, there'll be a clip, but just because uh, I have some extra washers, I'll go ahead and put those on. These came from uh, Classic Car Industries. I'll go ahead and put those in there, plus this clip. Alright, so there that is, uh, clipped on with the, with the washers. Um, it doesn't it's 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 movable I mean but it's it's not it's not loose so seems to sit on there pretty firmly I think it's just enough movement so you don't feel a bunch of play in your in your pedal okay I'll move on to the next thing all right I'm just finishing up on the Z bar install this is a part that goes on in the end uh, it's like a bushing Teflon bushing. There's a part number. I got that from Classic Car Industries. I'm going to take these parts right now that can stay here and uh, go over to uh, the Z bar, which I've uh, put up inside here. There it is. Uh, let's see if you can see it. Uh, let's see. It's right, right there. I'm gonna go under here. Let's see if we can see something better. Okay, so there it is right there. Is this bar? It's this bar right here. And it's just laid in there. Now on the end right here, you see the uh, the ball, the ball right there. I'm gonna put those Teflon things and they're gonna go uh, inside the tube. So put the Teflon things in, slide the tube onto it. There's nothing to bolt on this side. And then on the other side, yeah, it's hard to see, sorry. On the other side, this, oh, it's even harder to see. 
this bolt, my hands on it, you can't see it, this bolt tightens down over here and then you secure your other ends of it to your clutch and you're done. Alright, camp base out. Alright, this is camp base and um, I'm going to give you some uh, final tips about putting in this Z-Bar. I'm not 100% done with it, but I've got the Z-Bar in here still putting on the pull, pull and push rods. I need a clamp on that one. There's a bolt on this one. I put a washer on the back side of it. When you tighten this one up here, on the back side of this uh, assembly is uh, a, a two flat grooves that you can put your wrench in. The way to get the wrench in is from the back side, way over, over on the back side. There's just about no other way to get your wrench in there based on the way it's designed. There's only one spot you can get the wrench in and it's from the back side right in through there. And that holds the back of it while you tighten the front of it. Otherwise the whole assembly will spin. And the second thing was that I couldn't get it to drop down into the cradle. There's a, that's a cradle right there. And the way I did that was I put a strap on the engine and pulled the engine to the other side of the car just you know tenth of an inch eighth of an inch and that's actually what let it get down into that groove there all right so that's your that's my best tip for it is uh put the strap on it pull the engine over and then the wrench has to be on the far back side to hold the back side of it while you tighten the front side can't base out hope this video finds you well